Florida. Good morning, vloggers. <laughs> McDonald's coffee in a Keurig form. That's just like not okay. First of all, McDonald's coffee sucks. So we're gonna have to get a coffee at some point today. breakfast as you saw the North Shore Cafe literally a fave chef's kiss love it and Aria took a nap now we are currently driving around doing a little sightseeing just went by the beach we might do a little shopping we love shopping if I can convince Quinn but yeah we'll take you along with us Stopped at the waffle press, and uh, y'all, I got the Canadian. It's the most delicious waffle I've ever had in my life. There's like maple syrup and bacon, candy bacon, literally so good. Good morning. Well, I guess it's like technically afternoon. It's 12:05. <laughs> We had a super chill, lazy morning, went to the waffle press. Um, I didn't sleep very good last night, so I was super tired and had a little bit of a headache. But yeah, we were just chilling. Eh. Somebody took a little nap and had some lunch, so she's happy, ready to go. And we're gonna go thrifting. Yay. <laughs> so yeah, I'll try to take you guys along with us. Are you so excited? Do you love thrifting? No, she's not. Don't look for golf clubs. Taking the bikes out for a spin. Dad of the year, the R's. people it's a nice sunny day in Florida we are currently going to a little store or something I don't know. a little chilly this morning so uh, try and let it warm up and then me and Ari are gonna hit the pool pretty hard uh, Laura's got her things she's doing, so yeah, probably do a cannonball or something, try and get that on, on the shot for you, peace. So if you guys were wondering, how on earth I put up with all Laura's little excursions of her shopping addiction. Is so rude or what? This is what me and Aria do. Say hi, Aria. Aria, hey. Say hi. Sun's in your eyes. Say hi. Ah. Yep, we chill. We find the best spot to lounge. And this is what we do. You're welcome for the tip. Good morning. Just kidding. No. 
Good <laughs> afternoon. Delete that. He's right. Good afternoon. It's 12.46. Um, I'm late by 46 minutes. As you saw, Quint was the little vloggy vlog this morning because I was just not feeling it. We were lazy. We literally did nothing all morning. And that's fine. It's called rest, not laziness. You gotta learn the difference here. We literally just sat on the couch. There you go. She's... I gotta sneeze. But unfortunately, they were in slow mo, so I don't know if they can be salvaged or if I'll even include them. But yeah, we are currently going to get dinner with some friends that live down here in Sarasota at the Ugly Grouper. I don't like seafood, so I'll probably get a mediocre Caesar salad because that's usually the only thing that they have for me. But yeah. Should be fun. <laughs> Good morning from our kitchen sink once again because this is the only place that we have good lighting. We were super lazy yesterday. Restful. We weren't lazy. We were restful. Um, we literally just went to the pool. Like, we have a pool in our backyard. And we literally just chilled by the pool and then we walked to the beach in the evening. It was really nice just to relax and not go anywhere, not do anything, just sit in the sun and rest. But today, we are going to Target and another thrift store because our dishwasher broke. So the Airbnb host is having somebody come fix it, so we gotta vacate. Um, so yeah, Target, thrift store, maybe a little coffee at some point because I need it. Um, OOTD, our full length mirror is literally downstairs and I'm way too lazy to take the camera down there. So we're gonna, we're gonna find a way to make this work. OOTD, she is a pink girly. I have this like full set, but I wanted a sweater because it's literally like 50 degrees. Um, but this pink pair of pants, T-shirt, I think Target, cardigan, probably H&M, and then my sandals. Where's your outfit from? H&M, Amazon, um, a small business local to us. So yeah, let's see. Oh, OOTD. Say good morning. Say good morning. Obviously, made a little stop at Starbucks and my drink. I have two go-to drinks, but I got one of them this morning. And I got a Grande Ice Dirty Chai with oat milk because I can't have dairy. Um, because Aria can't have dairy and I'm breastfeeding. Um, with two shots and salted caramel and cold foam on top. So good. We're back. The dishwasher didn't get fixed. I guess they need a part. So we are down a dishwasher and we are doing dishes for the rest of the trip. Bummer, but we'll survive. Quint's doing the dishes. We, I decided that without telling him. We are going to the aquarium. Still wearing the same outfit, but I threw the shirt on now that it warmed up a little bit. I threw the shirt on top, so it's an all pink moment. Yeah, we're going to the aquarium. <laughs> Babe, 
Sam, are you excited? Oh yeah. We're gonna go look at the sharks. Shark, shark, what is it? Shark bait. Shark bait, hoo ha ha. Again with the Starbucks Postmate because it's literally so cold outside. I don't even know how cold it is, but it's like, it feels like we're low key at Like it's so cold. We are getting an early start today. It is 9.15, a lot earlier than 12.45. And somebody hears me talking and wants to know what's happening. Say good morning. We literally just got her these, oh, you waving? We literally just got her these PJs and they're 12 months. And she's not a year old for a couple more months yet. But they're literally already a little bit snug on her. I was like, oh, we should be fine. Like, let's get her 9 to 12 because she's been running small. But, like, out of nowhere, she's huge. What do you do? Anyways, the whole point of me starting this video this early looking like this is because I wanted to show you guys my heatless curl takedown. I live by heatless curls. If I'm anywhere in the morning especially and my hair is curled, I didn't curl it with a curling iron or a straightener. I definitely did not do that. I don't have the time, I don't have the mental capacity. I definitely did the heatless curls. And I am telling you that I live by it. I used to do heatless curls back in high school because I was completely, like my hair was naturally still really curly and they were so insane that I needed like heatless curls to soften them a little bit. And I, yeah, I lived by heatless curls for years. And then the straightener got on me and I just lived by my straightener. And now I have not curled my hair at all since I've watched it, which is a couple days ago. And it's still bouncy, healthy, looking fabulous. And yeah, I just put in a little bit of a low plex yesterday and a little leave-in conditioner because you need leave-in conditioner. I don't know who lied to you and told you you don't. Little Olaplex, little heatless, I mean little leave-in conditioner. Wrapped them up. This is literally just a bathrobe folded in half. And then I put silk scrunchies on the ends and I wear my bonnet that I wear every night, whether I do heatless curls or not. Literally a game changer. Like look at this hair, literally love it. But anyways, we don't have much on the agenda for today because it's literally so cold. We're hoping to go to the pool we we'll go to the beach, but it's like 50 degrees. So it's like way too cold, especially take Aria. Um, so I don't know what the plan is. We're probably just gonna pack up because we leave tomorrow. Um, so probably just slowly chip away at packing. I have to show you guys. <laughs> I didn't do a thrift haul in this vlog because I'm just gonna do a whole video. I decided because there's so much stuff. I like kind of went a little overboard. So I'll just give you like an overview of what we've got. So this is literally full of clothes and shoes. It's literally a whole tote full. And then Aria was playing with this cute little thing. And then multiple bags and baskets. So yeah, be on the lookout for a huge haul coming up. Hi guys, we've had a change of plans. So the original plan was just kind of be lazy today and just not do anything. That changed. So my husband's uncle 
um, lives like an hour and a half from where we are. We were going to go visit them tomorrow when we leave, but it ended up working that tonight would work better. So we were going to pack up tonight. So now we're packing now. And she's supposed to be down for a nap. But we had to wash her blankets because we're packing now. And I don't think she wants to sleep without her blanket because she literally just like screamed. And now the only thing making her happy is my mascara. So I love that for us. Quint went to run some errands and like put gas in the truck and stop the bank. And like just some random stuff in prep to get ready to go home. Get the truck ready to pack up. Um, clean it a little bit, all the things. And she was supposed to be sleeping so I could finish packing, but we've just been having, <laughs> we've been having meltdowns. Huh? Just random. Love that for us. Um, but yeah, anyways, I don't know how this is going to work. Feeling a little bit defeated, which is such a trivial thing to be defeated over because she's my baby and she needs me. Just was hoping to get a lot done and... Since Quint has left, I have gotten nothing done. I did my makeup because I have learned how to do that one-handed. But that's pretty much all we have going for us. We'll see if I get a packing montage done. Probably not, but we can hope, right? finally home it is like two almost two full days since the last clip so yesterday we checked out at like 10 a.m and then we just kind of tried to kill time until about three o'clock so that we could drive through the night so we just went to the mall and walked around just to stretch our legs let aria walk around so she could stretch her legs and then we left at three o'clock and then got home this morning around 7 a.m it was so difficult driving home. Driving down didn't feel so bad, but like coming home, like Aria was just up like every hour and a half and just was like upset. So it felt like we were stopping a lot and like trying to soothe her and calm her down and feed her and let her move around like even in the middle of the night. So <laughs> I, our goal was driving through the night so that she would sleep the majority of it and I could sleep so that when we got home, Queen could sleep and I could feel like rested and ready to like take care of her. Um, but that didn't work. <laughs> um, so yeah, just super tired. So when we got home, Quint napped right away because he drove through the night. And then when he got up, um, I took a nap. And then yeah, we just went and hung out with his family for a little bit. Um, we had ordered pizza for dinner and we got Walmart delivery Walmart delivery groceries so I wash I pre-wash all my produce just so that it's ready to go and I tend to not eat as much produce if it's not pre-washed because I just don't feel like washing it um so yeah I pre-wash all my produce so I'm just getting ready to bag it up and put it in containers and put it in the fridge but yeah Quinn's giving Ari a bath and we will Hopefully go to bed early. It's currently 6.54. You can't really see it because Aria has heads covering it. But yeah, thanks for coming along with us to Florida. Um, I might be a day in the life in a couple days, but we'll see if I feel like it. Um, Quint is watching me. <laughs> Hi, babe. <laughs> um, my turn to go finish the bath time, so... Yeah, thanks for watching, and I guess we'll see you in the next one.